I'm sorry we had to make this one a two-parter. I know, I don't like doing that with the deal videos, but uh, it, it, had, it had to happen. This is part two of 20, games under $20 in the PlayStation January store sale. Part one's up on the channel. You can go check that out if you're finding this one for the first time. Otherwise, let's just get straight into it and look at the deals in part two. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. You hit the button just down here. It would really help me out as well. Hit the like button if you like this video. If you don't like this video, I guess don't watch it, I suppose. Uh, if a game's not included in here under the $20 price point, it's probably because it's in the other part of the video, which, like I said, you can check out on the channel somewhere else. We've also got other price point videos, so th those will be around. If they're not here already, they'll be coming in the next day or so. Okay, Game of the Year 2021. Uh, it takes two, both PS4 and PS5, 20 bucks. The cool thing about this game is it's an entirely co-op game, which uh, is, is, is kind of nice. It's different. It's something that could be really fun to play over the holidays with a family member or a friend. You can play the game split screen on one console. You can play it on multiple consoles online, and the split screen is still split, so you can see what the other player is doing. It's a cool concept. You're getting two versions of the game, the PS4 and the PS5 version of this game, and because it is multiplayer required, you're probably thinking, well, both of us need to own the game. But the cool thing about this one is that you don't. Only one person owns the game, and then the other person can download like the free version, which basically lets them join someone who owns the game. It's, it's a really cool concept for a game. Really cool. Just basically a platformer style game that you can play with a friend. I really like this game. I think it's cool. I don't think it's game of the year, but hey, it was game of the year. So a good game, still fun to play. Really would recommend playing this with a family member or a friend over the holidays. Mafia Definitive Edition is also discounted down to 20 bucks. This is a really, really solid third-person action game. Grand Theft Auto-esque is probably the best way to describe it, but it's basically an open-world third-person action game. If you like third-person action adventure, open-world style games, this is a really good one. It's got a strong narrative to it as well, and it's a full remake of the original Mafia game, not just a remaster. So it has been improved. The other versions of Mafia, Mafia 2 and stuff like that, they are just remasters, so they haven't had that same level of polish and improvement that this one did. Uh, this is a really, really good remaster. I, I definitely recommend this one from a remaster standpoint. Uh, Doom Eternal is 15 bucks. I it's a pretty decent price for this one. Came out in 2020, so it's a... I mean, the, all of these games are reasonably new. Obviously a sequel to 2016's Doom, the really fast-paced kinetic multi... Well, not multiplayer. It has multiplayer, but first-person shooter game. Uh, focused on... It's not really focused on narrative. It's mostly just focused on gameplay. Doom's really good at gameplay, and that's, uh, that's what I would say about this one as well. Really good gameplay in this game. If you're looking for a solid first person shooter that's kind of like of that more old school style, this is a really good one to check out for that, if you're looking for that fix. This is a bit old and it probably should be discounted more heavily at this point, but Crash Insane Trilogy. It's a really solid game, so I'd still recommend it at 20 bucks, but it's been out for like five years now, so it realistically should be a little bit cheaper. It's an Activision published game though, so yeah, you know how Activision can be. For $20, you're getting all three of the classic Crash games remastered here. Really just pure platforming. If you're looking for some really good platforming gameplay, then this is a really good option for that fix. Uh, if you're not into old school platforming games, might not be your kind of thing, but yeah, mascot platformers. This is really peak mascot platformer. Uh, I love the Crash franchise. I love these games. Highly recommend them uh, to, to, to anybody, really, especially gamers, probably more nostalgic gamers, although a lot of you guys have probably already picked them up at this point as well. Still want to include it in here because I think it's still really, really high quality gameplay here. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, one of the new age Assassin's Creed games. This is more of the RPG action adventure Assassin's Creed versus the stealth action Assassin's Creed. Same deal. Massive open world here. You you go and you go and kill people and, and it's it's a it's a massive open world game. The the thing about these are they're not the best games in the world, but they are consistent. And, and that's what I think is really important from Ubisoft. They're always consistent, which means you know what you're getting in for. You know you're getting a particular level of, of quality from a game like this as well. And you know it's going to take you like 80 hours to finish. Some people would say that's a bad thing. I would say consistency is good from a publisher. And, and the Assassin's Creed games are, are no different to that. You know, moving on from that, we have Immortals Phoenix Rising. Again, another Ubisoft published game. I think with a consistent level of quality. This is basically like a Legend of Zelda game. And normally what I would say in a video like this is just go and play like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild because that game is so much better than this game, but not everyone has a Nintendo Switch. So if you don't have a Switch and you're looking for this game to play, I think it's a good option for, for someone who's looking for a Zelda style game because that's that's essentially what this is. Both a PS4 and a PS5 version here. So two platinum trophies for trophy hunters out there if you're looking for a really good platinum fix. And the game is good. It's a really good, solid Zelda game. It's not as good as Zelda, obviously. That would just you know, just go and play Zelda if you're looking for that. But if you don't have that option, this is a good way to do it. 
a man eater for PS4 and PS5. This one is down to 20 bucks as well. This one has been free on PlayStation Plus, so a lot of you probably already own this game. You've been adding your games to your library like I tell you to. It's cool though, you get to play as a shark who's job is to kill people and other animals in the water and, and, and humans. It's fun. It's, it's a really fun and silly game. I liken it a lot to Goat Simulator, but just a bit more polished than Goat Simulator. It's a fun, silly game to, to go away and play, and it, it doesn't take itself too seriously. The story doesn't take itself too seriously. And for Trophy Hunters, uh, easy Platinum Trophy alert here. It's a pretty straightforward Collect-a-thon Platinum Trophy here. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking for trophies, this is a good one. Uh, the Resident Evil Triple Pack for 20 bucks. Uh, there was a, recently the Resident Evil 2 and 3 were on sale. This is 4, 5, and 6. So it basically completes the collection. Uh, these are remasters, not remakes. So that, well, ports and remasters, I would say. They have some enhancements and improvements to the originals, but they're not hugely improved. The thing is though, 4 and, well not 4, 5 and 6 were pretty decent games given they were PlayStation 3 and 360 games. They weren't terrible to begin with, so they didn't need a ton of improvements to, to keep them working and functioning like a modern game. Resident Evil 4 I think did, and it didn't get them unfortunately, it just got a slight up res, which I think was a bit disappointing, but these are classic Resident Evil. If you're looking to go back and enjoy some of the older games because maybe you've played the newer ones, this is a really good way to go and do that, especially if you've just recently played Resident Evil 2 and 3 or 7 and 8, then this is a way to kind of fill in that gap. These are all really great games though, they, they are good, they're just different. I think the beauty of Resident Evil now is that it is so much variety in what it is. Is it horror? Is it action? Is it first person? Is it isometric? And there are so many options for Resident Evil fans now to enjoy all of those different styles of games. And not one of them is necessarily better than the other. I think everyone has different opinions. Some people love 4, some people love 1, some people love 7s. You know, it's, it's, it's a really great way of uh, of giving everything to the entire community. I think that's what they've really done with the Resident Evil franchise. So hats off to Capcom for that. I think they've treated this franchise very uniquely and evolved it quite effectively over the years. Good bundle here. Uh, only two platinum trophies. The fourth one doesn't have a platinum, unfortunately. This is a weird one that doesn't come down any further as well. Dark Souls Remastered. I like to include the Souls games because I do really love the Souls games. They remind me a lot of Castlevania, which, which is one of my favorite games of all time. The Souls franchise, uh, the other two games do get discounted cheaper than this, like $10 and $15. This one generally only comes down to $19. It's kind of newer, but it really should be discounted more heavily at this point. Dark Souls, though, is it's a really solid action franchise if you're looking for that kind of action-adventure game to play. Souls games are slower and more methodical, and I say that about all of them. M methodical is really the key word here because it's not just about running in and hacking and slashing away at stuff, it's really about taking your time, planning out your attacks, um, taking your time with blocking and attacking, and, and that, that's how the game wants to be played. If you go and try and play it any other way, you will get your ass beat, unfortunately. But Souls games are fantastic. If you haven't played one before, I don't know if this is the best one to jump into as your first game. I mean, it was my first Dark Souls game, so I suppose it's not that bad, but I'd probably suggest like a Sekiro or a Bloodborne first, and then working your way back to these older games. But for 20 bucks, if you haven't checked one out before, it, it, you know, it could be a really good option for you. I talked about Subnautica in a recent video as well, Subnautica Below Zero uh, for PS4 and PS5. This is the sequel to Subnautica, which you guys would have got given for free as part of the PlayStation Stay at Home collection of games recently too. 20 bucks here, it's, it came out this year, so it's a new game. It's $10 off, basically 33% off. You're getting two versions of the game, the PS4 and the PS5, so two trophy lists for trophy hunters out there. Uh, it's a survival, it's a survival game. That's all it is really. It's an adventure or an open world survival game, uh, except this one you're underwater, whereas most survival games you're on land. This one here is set in a more icy environment rather than just the ocean like the previous one was. Um, I like these games because they really scare me. They legitimately, I don't know why I think there's like a fear of oceans or something. I like swimming and everything, but when I play these games, I just get terrified playing them. So genuinely have a good time with it. They, they do really feel like you're surviving in the ocean, which is cool, and uh, and I like that. I had to include Spyro as well, even though it is a bit cheaper than Crash. I wish Crash would come down to this price point. I'm guessing that Spyro maybe doesn't sell quite as well as Crash does, and that's why it is a bit cheaper. Uh, $13.99, fantastic price point. Three classic Spyro games, same deal as Crash. You'd like mascot platforms of any type, this is a must pick up. Uh, it's a, it's a no-brainer if you, yeah, it's a no-brainer. If you enjoy Crash, you'll enjoy this one as well. Control is down to $11.99. Again, another game that was free with PlayStation Plus. This is the ultimate edition that comes with all the DLC. So it actually might work out cheaper for you picking this one up and getting the DLC with it as well than buying the DLC separately. Really, really good third-person action game here focused on narrative and uh, and really cool sci-fi-esque gameplay or uh, 
it's more psychological gameplay, I would say. These are, this is from Remedy, the guys who made Alan Wake, so I do have a soft spot for these guys as well. This is not like Alan Wake, but it is similar. You can feel the same DNA in there, and uh, and I think they've done a really good job with this game. I think it's a really cool game. I do recommend this to people if they haven't checked it out. I think it's worth your time, and it tells the developer we want more from this franchise as well. There you go, that is everything under $20, or at the $20 price point, I would say. Uh, tomorrow's video will be games under 10 bucks, so stay tuned for that as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Um, let me know if you picked up any of these games with the comments, and if this video has been helpful for you guys. If it has, that would be really awesome for me. The feedback would be really appreciated. Otherwise, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Let's see who made the Platinum Trophy nice list this year. Merry Christmas to all my Patreons and channel members, my favorite people in the world, and thank you so very much for supporting the YouTube channel this month. Each and every one of you guys over here next to me is on my nice list this year for Christmas. So thank you very much for supporting the Platinum Trophy and keeping the YouTube channel's lights on. If you too want to be added to my nice list, you can do the same thing by joining Patreon in the link in the description down below. One dollar honestly helps this channel out enormously. Alternatively, you can join the channel and become a channel member by hitting the join button just below this video. Joining the channel gives you an additional flex because it gives you special emotes to use in chat. It gives you priority during live streams and it gives you a little platinum trophy symbol next to your name thank you everyone for a fantastic 2021 and thank you for all your support and helping me keep this youtube channel going i cannot wait for 2022